Old fishing gear left abandoned in the ocean can have devastating impacts on marine life like sea turtles. One Nova Scotia company is now working to get it from out of the water and into their production line so they can shred it and turn it into construction material. It looks like your typical lumber yard, pickup trucks pulling up for material for a construction project like building a new deck. But no trees were cut down for this lumber, it's 100% recycled material. Prior to 2018, most of Canada's plastic was being sent overseas to Asian markets, predominantly China, which was the world's largest plastic importer. When they announced they'd be limiting almost all imports of recyclables, Mike Chassis saw opportunity. That suddenly flooded the market with an excess of material and that really gave us an opportunity to use our own process where we were man going to manufacture plastic lumber from this recycled plastic. Goodwood Plastic Products primarily uses a mix of film plastics like shopping bags, garbage bags, and blue bags, along with HDPE plastic from products like milk jugs and margarine containers. When the Department of Fisheries and Oceans put out a challenge to companies to come up with a solution to recycle end-of-life fishing gear, Chassis dove right in. Ghost gear and rope like this is designed to be strong not to break so breaking it down isn't easy but they found a way to do it when we first started out we were cutting it into small coils and then we were trying to shred it uh, we've had lots of issues trying to shred it with what we're currently doing but uh, with the new equipment that we have coming we'll be able to just take the rope and just throw it in and it'll break it down Phase one of the project was to incorporate it into the lumber, and they just received $475,000 as part of a phase two to invest in commercializing and scaling up that part of the business so they can start looking for more rope and net to recycle. What's on the horizon for uh, plastic recycling is great. I think that we're starting to see a fundamental shift uh, in everybody's minds and governments and people and and just your average uh, your average Joe that we need to collectively do something to recycle this plastic. The plastic lumber is more expensive up front than a pressure treated lumber or a cedar, but Chassis says there are very low maintenance costs over time because the plastic is inorganic, so it won't rot and it's stronger than wood. 